Shalom. Last week, we were able to see in our life series who the Holy Spirit is. We established two things from the words of Christ. Number one, the Holy Spirit is a helper. Number two, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth. And that now leads us to a third question which we'll focus in in our discussion today on why do I need the Holy Spirit in my life? Why is the Holy Spirit necessary in the life of a believer? My name is Reverend Daniel Gichana. I serve as the National Youth Coordinator for Deliverance Church International. I want us to take some time and explore this from the living word of God. And I'm sure you'll be so blessed, you'll be so empowered so that you can see you need the Holy Spirit, I need the Holy Spirit in my life. Welcome to our live series. I want us to read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 2, verse number 9 to verse number 14. 1 Corinthians 2, verse number 9 to verse number 14. The word of God says, But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit, for the Spirit such as all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the Spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them, because they are spiritually designed. Friend, I want you to understand one of the most fundamental things that the Holy Spirit does in our lives, which of course qualifies his necessity, is that he searches the mind of God and then reveals to us the things which God has prepared for those who love him. I am sure you love the Lord with all your heart. I love the Lord with all my heart. And the scripture tells us for the people that love God, they are things which God has prepared. Now this raises the question, how do you access what God has prepared for you? How do I access what God has prepared for me? And that's where the Holy Spirit becomes necessary in our lives. Why? Because we discover this, that God has revealed these things to us through His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. So notice this, the things that God has prepared for you, the things that God has prepared for me, the things God has prepared for every God lover, these things, eye has not seen them, ear has not heard them. They have not entered into the hearts of men what God has prepared, the things for the people that love him. But bless God for the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit searches the mind of God. Then he comes to us and reveals these things to us. How does he do this? He compares spiritual things with spiritual. We are told that there are things freely given to us by God and we can be able to access them through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. It is my prayer today that in your life and in my life, may the Lord help us with his spirit that we can be able to discover what he has prepared for us, lead us into that, cause us to walk into that, cause us to enjoy the fulfillment of everything he has prepared for us. And that is one fundamental thing, why you and I need the Holy Spirit in our lives. I'm so excited that the Holy Spirit is available for everyone to freely access what God has prepared for them, to freely access the things that God desires to give to his children for free. So friend, I want you to celebrate the ministry of the Holy Spirit, embrace it, enjoy it, depend on it because he's a helper, he's the spirit of truth and he searches the mind of God to reveal what God has prepared for you that loves the Lord. May that be your reality and your testimony because the Holy Spirit is a blessing, he's necessary and he is very important. We cannot do without the spirit of God. God richly bless you.